Everybody knows you. Care to get you one? Wow. I'm not ready for Professor Biff's lecture. I've got my pillow. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower. If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. Oh, it was completed in the late the class, early Middle Ages. The hole in the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Hodgott said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Oh, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Revelio. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the Rebellion. battle tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. These bits of bloom are all that's left of a witch that called Selene Wartnobby. Countenance nestled Luna among the ranks. Demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm. His fame was not won by Perhaps he's and foes in secret. This is a century's old likeness of Slaying candidate. bloodthirsty dragons. Rather in training yards. Uh, was celebrated by old friends and... Good finger! Revelio. A 
as one would expect, Hogwarts contains no nine. This unassuming smudge is rumoured to be the location of the very first bombarder. I suppose successful is a relative term since whoever cast it failed. The Hogwarts founders. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True, but imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise students, such as yourself, will learn from it. Rebellion. History is written by those who do their school. Rebellion. Finite. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> it's an outrage. No one makes a fool of Ferdinand or Team Rebellion. But...
Rebellion. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what Astoria Cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, oh, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go! It's an outrage! No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt! Revelio. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, oh, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Revelio. Right there. 
I should investigate. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Alohomora. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Let's get out of here then, shall we? Uh, be 
sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. Revelio. I shan't stand for this. in here. <laughs> you there! Are you deaf? There's a terrible draft in here coming soon. Oh, finally! Back on my wall and more angelic than ever. There you are. Welcome back. I'm not usually one to give thanks. There's a sort of servant ring to it. But I suppose some gratitude is in order. As a show of goodwill, I'll exclude whatever misdeeds I hear about you in my reports to the headmaster. And I do hear quite a bit. Now, be off with you. I can't be seen talking to a student. Go on then, go! It's all right, everyone. Rebellion. I'm back. Revelio. Some days are more difficult than... Lassie. Is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Revelio. Blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Revelio. Confringo! 
Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda! are over. Bombarda. Revelio. More poachers. How many are there? Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Akio. Daniel Leviosa. Akio. Guardian Levios, Accio! You're gonna rip. You there! Take it! Defender! Bombarder! Rookwoods don't go down easy! Glacier! Alohomora. Rebellion.
There it is again. Revelio. Confringo. Rebellion. Good for you. Rebellion. Bombarda, defender. Simply too many. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Rebellion. Rebellion. Leviosa. Rebellion. Rebellion.
potions you brewed. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... What a beauty. You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. What are you up to now? Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. Glad you were able to stop by. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it! At least we're out of the classroom. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. 
especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Revelio. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out when. Akio! <laughs> Revelio! Bombarder Revelio Rebellion. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. And so are Fwoopers. I wonder if it's being protected. Rebellion. Akio.
Revelio. Accio. Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipu, and now this. Revelio. Akio. We need to find moths for those spinners. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. 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 Revelio. You did it. Look, where the 
water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. known to do I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them I don't know I've been listening to them for a while now and I'm starting to lose my mind <laughs> it's very funny I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here assuming this is where the moonstone is which means we're one step ahead of them <coughs> we found Rebellion. them well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Ha ha ha. 